You have 8,000 trees. Big trees, small trees, healthy trees, unhealthy trees. And for the next few minutes, you've got me, Andy Tree. Yeah, that's my real name. Across the country, there are roughly 320 billion trees, which means for each and every Canadian, there are about 8,000. We Canadians are deeply connected to our trees and we love our forests, but most of us don't know all that much about them. Let's change that and take a quick look at your 8,000 trees. First up, let's learn what kind of trees you have. While there are around 140 native tree species in Canada, of your 8,000 trees, most of them can be broken down to spruce, poplars, firs, and Douglas fir, which isn't a true fir, but we'll count it, pines, hemlocks, birches, cedars, and a mix of other conifers, maples, and the rest are a mix of other hardwoods, like oak. By age, around 2,700 of your trees are 60 years and younger. 4,500 or so are between 60 and 140 years old, and around 800 of your trees are older than 140 years. Your 8,000 trees fill an area of around nine hectares, or about 50 hockey rinks. A little over 7,000 of your trees are managed by provincial and territorial governments. Roughly 536 are owned privately, 168 are managed by indigenous communities, 136 by the federal government, and the rest are managed by municipalities and other groups. Of your 8,000 trees, roughly 5,000 of them are managed, which means there has been a strategic vision outlined to protect one or multiple values of that tree. These management plans are updated regularly, and they outline the specific desired future state of that forest. Around 3,000 of your trees are unmanaged, typically because they're remotely located. 728 of your trees are in protected areas, and nearly half your trees are third-party certified to internationally recognized standards of sustainability. Canada's forests are vast, diverse, and essential to our way of life. They clean our air and water, they absorb and store carbon as they grow, and they support countless species. On top of their many benefits, they also provide us with renewable resources needed to make countless materials and products that we use day to day. Trees make up obvious products like lumber, oriented strand board, and engineered wood that gets used to build our homes. Pulp gets made into paper, cardboard, and packaging, and even residues like sawdust get made into pellets that we use to heat our homes. But did you know that wood is used in textiles like rayon and viscose? or that it gets made into bioplastics or many other consumer plastic alternatives. Wood-derived chemicals and cellulose also show up in medicines, cosmetics, and advanced materials used in electronics and displays. And on top of all of that, forests also provide non-timber products like maple syrup, wild mushrooms, berries, resins, and medicinal plants. All of these examples and many, many more are made from your trees and forests. But how many of your 8,000 trees does it take each year to do so sustainably? Maybe 100 a year, 1,000, 2,000? It's actually just 15. 15 of your trees will be sustainably harvested this year to make the products that we need. And I say sustainably because each one of those 15 trees will be regrown. Roughly 10 will be replanted and five will regenerate naturally. In Canada, no tree is harvested from public lands without a carefully developed forest management plan, and a requirement of that plan involves the regeneration of every tree harvested. This plan also considers values like wildlife habitat, water quality, soil health, and biodiversity, all to ensure that forestry is sustainable and that the forest remains healthy for generations to come. Speaking of sustainability, estimates show that the sustainable wood volume of our working forest could support the harvest of 25 of your trees each year, 10 more than we currently harvest. The responsible use of our natural resources means that even as we harvest trees, we don't permanently remove our forested area. When a tree is permanently removed by changing the use of the land to something other than a forest, it's called deforestation. 
This year, in addition to your 15 harvested trees, one of your trees will be removed permanently due to a change in land use. These changes predominantly are due to uses like agricultural, mining, and oil and gas expansion. In fact, if we gathered 50 forests just like yours, only one of those 400,000 trees would be permanently removed due to forestry, primarily for building new roads. Opposite to deforestation, afforestation is the conversion of land to forests. Efforts continue across the country to restore forested areas, and a federal commitment of the 2 billion tree program would mean adding 50 trees for each and every one of us. Your 15 harvested trees contributed to the generation of $97.6 billion in total revenue nationally, with $36.2 billion in exports in 2023. And that economic activity directly employed around 200,000 Canadians, with another 295 indirectly, from coast to coast. A large majority of these jobs are in rural communities, and over 300 of those communities across the country are reliant on the forest sector as the primary employer and source of revenue. A strong Canadian forest sector benefits our economy, it provides good jobs to individuals, and it generates community well-being in nearly every corner of the country. A changing climate Insects and disease and wildfire are increasingly threatening your trees. Remember that 15 of your trees are sustainably harvested. How many do you think are at risk? As many as 285 of your 8,000 trees are currently defoliated by insects, like the mountain pine beetle, eastern spruce or jack pine budworms, emerald ash borer, hemlock woolly adelgid, spongy moth, or the spruce beetle, just to name a few. Defoliation, or the loss of leaves from insects or disease, leads to reduced growth, increased susceptibility to other stressors, and eventually to death. These unhealthy trees dry out and become potential fuel for wildfire. Speaking of fire, in recent years, wildfires in Canada have become more frequent, intense, and unpredictable. And in 2023, 373 of your trees burned. By comparison, it'll take the next 25 years to sustainably harvest the same number of trees from your forest. Climate change leads to hotter and drier summers and longer fire seasons. Insects and disease contribute to a weakening forest stands, and together these forces are creating a new fire reality in which extreme events are no longer rare, and which cause huge economic impacts and displace thousands of Canadians, disproportionately impacting First Nations and rural communities. Canada's forest sector is adapting in critical ways. FireSmart programs help communities reduce wildfire risks through education, planning, and vegetation management. Forest managers build resilience through thinning, diversifying species, and maintaining forest health. Investment in research and technology is growing too, from satellite monitoring and AI fire modeling to climate resilient seedlings. New forest-based products are equally innovative and are helping to replace single-use plastics with renewable, biodegradable options, like in textiles and consumer goods. In construction, mass timber and modular design are making building faster, taller, and more sustainable. From wildfire resilience to green innovation, the forest sector is driving solutions to some of our biggest challenges. As a Canadian, you have 8,000 trees. They're an incredible privilege, and they're also a great responsibility. Each tree plays a role, helping to clean the air you breathe, protect the water you drink, store carbon, and provide the renewable resources we rely on every day. But your 8,000 trees don't speak for themselves. They need us to stay informed, to talk openly about the challenges they face, and to support the people and communities working to keep Canadian forests strong and sustainable. And if you'd like to learn more about our forests, please consider reading the State of Canada's Forest Report. It's released each year by Natural Resources Canada, and it provides a valuable look into our forests, how we manage them, and how we use them. This year's report was recently released, and it also highlights the Canadian Forest Service's 125-year history. My name is Andy Tree, and I really hope that you've enjoyed learning about your 8,000 trees today. I have tons of links down below to keep the conversation going.